Rebalancing the Biosphere, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 506. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. The One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our December 4th edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is rebalancing the biosphere. It's a big one. It is a big one. You know, and everything you see happening in the background of this video is our idea for how to do that. You know, our idea is to create a self-replicating model that creates global sustainability, that turns our civilization into a sustainable civilization. And in doing that, we will be rebalancing the biosphere because right now the way that humanity is living is objectively not sustainable. And by definition, if it's not sustainable, it cannot sustain itself the way that we're doing things right now. And so one community set out with the idea of how do we answer comprehensively answer this challenge? And in so doing, what are all the other greatest challenges of this generation and future generations that we can address at the same time? Like how do we address climate change? How do we address homelessness, homelessness and food insecurity and lack of energy infrastructure and lack of access to the internet? You know, how do we get the poisons off of our food? And how do we how do we how do we teach our kids how to learn instead of what to learn? You know, and so really what we did is we said, well, you know, let's start by rebalancing the biosphere of humanity, of like humanity's little piece within the biosphere, and how do we create the optimum living environments while simultaneously recognizing that if our, our optimum living environments are truly optimum, then they support our local communities, our regions, and the planet at the same time. And so our idea of rebalancing the biosphere is to look at the complete human living experience and say, how can we do the best? How can we do the best possible? How can we live for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet and to ethically make every decision that we make and create an environment that supports that and create an environment of people dedicated to supporting that and helping each other to live even more within that energy and with that mindset? to support each other in creating that. And then of course, how do we open source and free share that so the idea will spread so that we can achieve that tipping point, that critical mass of participation so we can positively and permanently affect the people and lives of everything on this planet. That's our idea. This is what we geek out about. This is what we're into. So rebalancing the biosphere, yes, it's a natural consequence of what we're creating. And addressing all aspects of sustainable life, well, we broke that into two categories physical sustainability and emotional sustainability. And the physical foundations of sustainability, everybody is familiar with those. What we're doing that's maybe different is that we're open sourcing and free sharing a way to do all of those things so that people can grow their own food, build their own energy infrastructure, build their own housing infrastructure, all the physical foundations. High school, we call high school approaches to food, energy, and housing. We're addressing all of those. And then we are combining that with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living, what we call high school approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship, and putting all that together as a comprehensive teacher demonstration model designed to teach other people how to build exactly what it is that we're building. And so everything that we're doing, we're, 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 we're logging it. We're charting it, we're writing it down, we're creating the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate it so that we can achieve that goal of making it easy enough and affordable enough. And then as we build it, we'll demonstrate it's attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. And this is our idea for rebalancing the biosphere. One component at a time and all components simultaneously. Looking at each component and then recognizing like, hey, if we do this, if we create these teacher demonstration hubs and these environments that are fully self-contained and self-resilient, you know, we're cutting the carbon footprint of our food. We're cutting the carbon footprint of our energy infrastructure. We're cutting the carbon footprint of our houses. We're cutting the carbon footprint of us as people because we're traveling, need to travel a lot less out for things like fulfilled living activities, highest good approaches to education, the economic models, which is 
is resource-based economy implementation as well as nonprofit for business, for profit business creation, all this stuff, you know, and then of course the stewardship aspect, which is foundational to all this, by putting all this together, we're addressing the complete human experience with the idea of like, how do we do what's in the best interest of all people and all life on this planet, which is of course, by nature of what it is, rebalancing the biosphere. So this is what we're up to. You know, we're a non-governmental organization, organization, we're a non-profit organization, we're a 100% volunteer organization, and um, we're creating this because we want to live this way and because we want to teach other people how they can live this way and create open source plans. So if they want to live even kind of like this and maybe even improve on this and open source even better solutions, then we want to create that foundation. And we see it as a path to rebalancing the biosphere and so much more. So this is what we're up to. If you'd like to see the specifics of what our all volunteer team has created in the last week, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see the specifics of all of our open source tools and plans and resources, all this stuff, visit our website. If you'd like a weekly dose of positivity and awesomeness and uh, world change in your inbox, well, you got to subscribe because YouTube doesn't really do that anymore. Um, but you can also ring that bell and it'll show up in your YouTube feed. But if you want to subscribe on our website, uh, we'll send you an email every week with our weekly progress updates. And um, yeah, if you want to help out, of course, visit our helping page. And um, there's ways for everybody to help out there. Lots of different ways to help out there, including volunteering, joining our team, that kind of stuff. Of course, donating to our nonprofit certainly helps cover the expenses of running a, an organization like this. And uh, we're all volunteers, so 100% of donations go to what we're creating. And um, yeah, that's it. And of course, we want to help out in the simplest way possible. Stick around and watch the end. See like the bullet points of all the major components of our project. Helps out our algorithm. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. This is how we're rebalancing the biosphere. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Sure.